Hello kings, queens, nerds, and geeks. Powder Milk here, and welcome back to Dream Daddy. And today we're gonna be going back. It's been a long time since I played. So we're gonna get right into this. My wife's in the background afraid of the camera, so don't mind. <laughs> Love you. Hello? Love you. Okay, I couldn't hear you because of the freaking headphones. Uh, well, anyway, welcome back to Dream Daddy. So, we gotta continue. I don't remember where we were at, but I do believe we have had a date with everyone on the dad book at least once. So, that means we gotta go to the second time around and uh, see if we can get frisky with everybody. Let's You've got dads! Let's see, um, so I've done, with, I've done this with everybody. I believe it or not, Brian, though I didn't like him at first, I started to be intrigued by his character. Damien, I want to go back, because I've already had Robert twice. I want to go back to Damien, where I started, and see what I could do with him. Because that Naruto porn got my attention. <laughs> so, um, I, I like what his turn-ons is pronouncing bosom correctly. Wow. Uh, he wanted to be a bat when he grew up. Uh, I like how I'm relearning this. Um, what have you ever? What do you? What do you never leave home without an upside down cross? Oh my god. He has to be a vampire. I swear to God. I spent a lot of time thinking about morality. <laughs> I don't know how to spell say that. Anyway, let's message him. Let's go. As you can see, guys, I got me some soda to keep my throat from wearing out during the video. <clears throat> Okay, I had lots of fun hanging out with Damien the other day. I wonder what he's up to. I open up the dad book and start writing him a message when Amanda walks in the door. Dad, you got a letter. Oh, this is, is it from Grandma? No, it's from Damien. Whoa, can I see it? Amanda hands me a piece of old parchment folded in an envelope and sealed with purple wax. Damn, the, this, the dude goes all out. I pry a... Blech, can't English. I pry off the seal and unfold the letter. In the most beautiful calligraphy, the letter reads, Dearest Powdered, I hope you will find my continued correspondence endearing rather than t t <coughs> trying. One can only hope that... Sorry, I'm stuttering. That my use of the slower, more traditional form of communication will showcase my sincere, earnest sentiment that I greatly enjoy your, our time together. I write this uh, hastier under the warm embrace of excitement, fearful that I may misstep and speak, speak towards something unwelcoming. For now, I hope that you might forgive my boldness. I will simply say that your company has greatly occupied my thoughts. While the afternoon may have been derailed, my focus unforeseen, your companionship helped a great deal, not only in the discipline of my child, but in the moral of my spirit. And for that, I thank you. That said, Powdered, if you allow me, it will mean the world to me if you, I could enjoy more of your time. Perhaps a trip to the cinema followed by a moonlit stroll would be in your taste. I, I eagerly await your response with great respect, D. Blood March. Okay, that was a long-ass letter. Um, I don't even know how to feel about that. Amanda and I both look up from the letter. Mm -hmm. Wow. He's bo he's good. So you're gonna catch a movie with him? Yeah, I better message him on Dadbook and let him know. Amanda slaps my laptop shut. You have to write him back a real letter! But my handwriting looks like two toddlers fighting over a crayon. Dad, you have to. He wrote you a letter. That's so cool. Will you help me? I need to class this up. Father, I may I was made for this. Here's what you do. Find find tickets to the show that you, you two will like, then enclose them in the letter. Oh, that's classy. Amanda, I hop <laughs> Amanda and I hop on the laptop and pursue show times. He didn't seem to like the romantic comedy kind of guy. Yeah. Oh, here's one. Vampire Cruise 2. Evil never dies. <laughs> what the fuck am I reading? <laughs> I don't know. That sounds kind of stupid. 
Actually, it's critically acclaimed exploration into the ennu of S existence. It really turns the vampire trope on its head. Really? Hmm. Nah, there's just lots of blood and vampire titties. I, I like how straightforward that went. Well, let's roll with the dice. Hmm. I purchase the tickets and print them out, and then sit them on the table, and Amanda is trying to draft acting a nice letter. I start writing, Damien. Uh, how should I say this? Fuck, I don't even know what to say. I know I can't say hey. I'm gonna save, just in case. I'm gonna save, come back, in case this is a, a fucked up choice. Um, uh, I hope that this letter finds you in good health. Let's do that one. Good one. What's next? Uh, I must confess my immature control of written words. Uh, do you remember his dad? Figured I'd, re I'd recap a good narrative storytelling. <laughs> Okay, we're trucking along. Let's let him know how you're feeling. You find me in good spirits, and I let I f felt very much the same after our last encounter. Nice. <sighs> Ask him to hang out already. True art takes time, Amanda. <laughs> what is this? Uh, while a strange turn of events, I found myself in urge with the situation at hand. And it befall of Icarus. I find myself lost of details. Bring it home, Pops. It would bring me great pleasure to escort you to the cinema. <laughs> Smooth. Calling it the cinema is a classy move. I'm closing it, uh, two tickets. The Vampire, uh, Vampire Cruise 2, Evil, Evil Never Dies, which is sure it will be fine, both idling and enjoyable. Uh, hard dabs? Hard dabs? Best wishes. And I sign my name, my full name, fancier that way. Powdered milk. Okay. Is this okay? Amanda reads over my sloppy handwriting. Uh, you, sp you spelled his name wrong. What? Hmm. Nah, just trying to keep you on your toes. Now all you have to do is seal it, it up and put it in this mailbox. Uh, can I seal it with tape? Right. That's not authentic enough. You have. I have an idea. I'll be right back. Amanda leaves the room, turns the candle a little lighter, and... Oh, small uh, piece of wood. You gotta have a wax seal. Uh, she lights the candle and starts burning down to form a pool of melted wax. What's the other thing? Oh. Pour some wax into the folded paper and des and uh, expertly presses the small piece of wood into it. Let's it dry for a second and pulls the wood away, revealing here your sigil. A little kitten with a bow on the. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Scrapbooking stuff uh, always comes in clutch. What? I don't even know what I can I'm having trouble reading. Ugh, maybe I need a drink. Well, I guess all there is to do is deliver it to his doorstep now, huh? Mm. Oh, I thought you were getting a earlier pigeon to do it. Mm. I already called that my guy. I have a pigeon guy. Marcus was the uh, was the good has the good pigeons. Um, don't get the pigeons away from Anthony. They're no good. I don't want to know if any of this is true. Okay, it got really dark and my face is dark on the screen. Hold on. Uh, no, just leave it. I head outside and walk over to Damien's house and I slip the letter into the slot of his door and go back home. Mission accomplished. Now we, pl now we play the waiting game. The night finally rolls around there and I'm supposed to meet with Damien and the next day... A, he and I left the uh, another beautifully crafted letter thanking me for my mine and agreeing for the evening. Amanda helps me uh, pick out a nice outfit and I show up to the theater a little bit early. It's a, cl it's a chilly night and the, and the theater is kind of crowded, but it's still nice. How do you do? Of course lightning flares when he walks into the room. What the fuck? I jump at the sound of the, his voice and turn around to see Damien right behind me. You almost gave me a heart attack. How long were you there for? <sighs> I don't know. I just walked up. My apologies for frightening you. What's the thunder? Is it going to rain soon? Oh. I didn't hear anything. What? Oh, what? My. Regardless, the uh, hour goes close. So apparently he doesn't know about the thunder. <laughs> Shall we take our seats in the cinema? I must thank you again for purchasing our tickets. Hmm. 
Please allow me to repay your deeds in Sour Patch Kids or perhaps Milk Duds. Let's go. Let's do it. We wait in the line to buy snacks. We're waiting. I uh, hear a familiar voice behind us. Uh, my dad's here. Oh, of course his son, Lucius. Or Lucian, not Lucius. What the fuck am I thinking? Uh, I turned around and find Lu Lucian standing in a few feet behind us with a gaggling other goth kids. Oh. Lucian, how nice of us to see you. I didn't know you were coming to the theater. I'm glad to see you spending some quality time with your friends. However, whatever, Dad. God, he's like the cliche rebellious son. And what is the movie will you be attending tonight? My friends are ma making me see some kids movie with talking animals. I don't really care about it. Huh. Well, I ho hope you enjoy your evening. We'll be watching Vampire Crusade 2, Never Evil Never Dies. Oh, my. You watching that? Yeah, I thought Damien would enjoy it. Huh. Ha, good luck with that, Dad. Lucian rejoins his friends and I look over to Damien. Good luck with the what? Mm. It's nothing. My son loves to tease. We wait in line for a little longer, and Damien buys us snacks. Man, Damien is looking off in the distance. Oh, oh, he seems a little nervous. I wonder what's wrong. Uh, Damien and I take our seats and settle in for the previews, gl glancing, him, uh, glancing at him. I can see that he's sweating profusely and gripping his armrest. Okay, this is getting a little dodgy here. Everything's okay? The movie hasn't even started yet. I'm going to ask him if everything's okay. Oh, he likes that. Everything is fine. Uh, okay, I'm so uh, excited for this film. I'm devoted to the arts, especially for the scary arts. The scarier the art, the better. Do you have a favorite horror movie? I, of course, have a favorite horror movie. Mine is Halloween Town. Terrifying. <laughs> oh, interesting. It's odd. I don't seem to remember Halloween Town... I'm uh, um, being that scary. I would have expected him to bring up some sort of strange foreign horror movie that I've never seen of. Uh, Damien Uncles are, are turning white, and I look to see. If, um, he's around the. He's about to rip the armrest off. Wait a second. Damien, are you afraid of horror movies? What? You must be joking. I love horror movies. The light dimmed in the, in the film. Ah! Wait! Damien screams! I love it! <laughs> okay, this is already getting interesting. I apologize, I was thinking about something far scarier than the movie, which is not scary at all. Well, and so when the film starts, I offer Damien some licorice. He takes one. I take note that how much his hands are shaking. <sighs> the title flashes across the screen in bloody letters. Vampire Crusade 2! Evil never dies! Anyway. A pair with the long uh, silver hair, glittering with red eyes, and well-oiled abs sits up in a coffin. <laughs> well-oiled abs? Okay, this is asking for it, I swear to God. Awaken my coven. Two more vampires slide the tops of the stone coffins uh, onto the floor. Brother, is it time? Yes, hu yes husband, m but also mortal enemy. It is time. The, th <clears throat> the three look at each other and then, at, then to the camera. For the, for the vampire crusade. This rules. The trio of vampires flies off to the night for or bowling organ music plays in the distance. I somehow get lost in the movie. As dumb as it sounds, it's actually a pretty fun flick. <sighs> we get as a tense uh, moment in the movie... For, where Romulus Trueblood sits at the truce meeting with the generals of the human army whose wife R Romulus has fallen in love with. What? Romulus, it is a good to finally meet you. General, I agree. It is good to finally blood you! Oh my. Romulus leaps out and slashes the general's throat. Blood splatters everywhere, including the camera! Ah. Damien screams again, reflexively grasping his hands. Damien's face! My god! It looks horrified! His eyes are even smalled out! I immediately blush, forgetting about any vampires or blood or vampiric blood. What? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Damien retracts his hand and places it back on his lap. Mm. I was writing a novel in my head about a blood magic, and I got into an extremely scary section. 
Damien goes back to quietly stressing over the movie. It's kind of cute that he won't admit that he, he's afraid of it. I wish I, I would uh, hold. I wish I would have hold his hand again. Maybe I could do something to try to make him feel more comfortable. I've got it. All I have to do do what all dads do best: talk during the movie. Um, ask what's happening. Uh, tell a dad joke. No, no, tell dad jokes. Those always work. Ah, he loves it. Yes. Where uh, does the dog go when he loses his tail? What? Where? To the retail store. <laughs> I tell the last bit a little too loud in the crowded movie theater, and I can see a smile form on Damien's face. Oh. Good one, Powdered. Mm. The rest of the movie goes relatively smoothly, and the next few whimpers from Damien, maybe he would have liked the romantic comedy better. We get to the final scene of the movie where Romeo's bad blood and the general's wife embrace in each other's other in the cr his crypt. It appears that the true vampire crusade was the vampire crusade in our hearts. Our cold, unbeating hearts. What the fuck am I reading? Rom Romulus and, Gen and the General's wife begin making out hard. Oh my. The film fades in the black and the, e the end appears on the screen, but it it's hard cuts to Demetrius and his rival lover, uh, Car Armel L, who watch the two ooh, from afar. Oh. Oh no. Twist ending. Our bloodline has been pure for a thousand years, Romulus was betrayed us by loving human a human woman. It will only be short time before the next vampire crusade aid. Aid. Next. The next. Vampire Crusade Three. Evil must die again. The more thunder, more Romulus or Organs, the movie fades out again, and bloody question mark now accompanies uh, the end. Excuse me. Damien and I walk out to the movie theater in uh, throngs of chat outing moviegoers. He's a little more pale than I remember, uh, <laughs> but otherwise, he has survived the encounter. He even seems kind of invigorated. Oh. What an interesting film. While the premise of admittedly struck me as a pedestrian, I was intrigued by its narrowing love story and great attention to the detail, and regardless of vampiric lore. Yeah, but it's pretty good. A lot more vampire, t more vampire titties than I thought there would be. <laughs> Come, the night is young. Let's take a stroll. Now we actually. Whoa, he looks angry all of a sudden. Damien is making a point not tell telling me where he is taking me. Still, I am enjoying the walk is in the cool night air. Being alone here with Damien is a lot better than being in the crowded theater. Lovely night, isn't it? Oh. A lovely, a lovely as the company, yes. He thinks I'm lovely? Damn, okay, here, here comes the smooth response. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Hmm. Crushed it. We both stand and they're feeling a little awkward. I sure I am one smooth operator. Are you getting a little hungry? We could be able to stop off and grab something to eat. Uh. Worry not, friend. I have a plan. We turn to a corner and great by uh, the <laughs> gates of the cemetery. What? Are we going in there? Mm. A little bit of Victorian flavor powder, trust me. Mm. Is he really a vampire? Or what? After seeing the movie, is he just afraid of vampires, but he's also one? What What is going on here? I'm a bit nervous, but Damien hasn't led me in the wrong yet. I follow his lead as we walk to the cemetery. Statues of angels stare er, down at us, and we fall about the path through the faded tombstones. As we ch crest a small hill, we get a beautiful view of the city. The night light sparkles around us. I gotta hand it to him. For being in a cemetery, this is strangely romantic. Oh. Hey, Aurora, that sounds like a date me and you would do. Picnicking is the graveyards of the old Victorian tradition and appropriate finish to the evening after the vampire movie, wouldn't you say? Hey, with a flourish, Damien produces a blanket and picnic basket. Wait, where are you hiding that? Hmm. Under my cloak. Oh, right. Damien unfolds the blanket, and then we both sit down, get easing out of the city lights. He produces a bottle of red wine and fine sections of cheeses. <sighs> In the Victorian era, there were no pu public art galleries, parks, and botanical gardens to speak of. One rural graveyard became one of the more popular alternatives to a church burials. 
then became in one of the places that people could see beautiful plant life and find sculptures. That makes sense. That's this is pretty nice. I have a question though. How are you so okay in a graveyard, but you have trouble handling a scary movie? Ah. I wasn't. He sighs deeply. Okay, yes, I am extremely scared of the movie, but I'm not writing a book about blood magic in my head. I just have either a good. I never have good w good at those. I just feel as because how I look and act, people will expect me to love horror movies, so I must play the part. Truth be told, I don't know if I have to be <clears throat> have the constitution for them at the times. Damien, I'm so sorry. If I had known you, known, I wouldn't have suggested an another movie. Oh. It's quite alright. I actually did find myself enjoying this one, thanks to your help. Graveyards, however, I think there's something rather beautiful about our death. Cemeteries are traditionally built about away from the cities, is away from the realm of the living, and it keeps us rather separate from it. T to acknowledge death and become comfortable with it, I think, gives us a certain I intimate knowledge of ourselves. <laughs> to sit among generations of those who came before us, and truly, al and to be truly alive in the midst of so much death, brings me more, or brings me, brings me great comfort. <clears throat> Death helps me appreciate life, to savor every second. We sit and enjoy our food and wine. I don't feel scared anymore. Never thought I'd be comfortable sitting alone in the graveyard at night, but I actually feel very peaceful. Suddenly, it doesn't seem like we're alone. Off in the distance, I see a shadowy figure in the trees. What? Is that? Ugh. I'm not sure. I noticed... I noticed it noticed us. I'm paralyzed with fear. It begins lumbering slowly towards us, and its shape, it, it taking more animal form, more feral. I look at Damien for help, but he's just as afraid and transfixed as I am. I want to scream, but I'm stuck. But it's stuck in my throat, and the creature is getting closer, moving faster. Ah. Woof. Huh. Oh, uh -huh. it's a dog. It finally comes over to the night and the. The friendliest, dumbest-looking Boston Terrier I've ever seen pulls its o owner towards us. <laughs> the dog trots over to Damien and sniffs his hands. Damien looks ecstatic. He ruffles the dog fur happily. <clears throat> What's the? What a beautiful dog! Hey, we both look up, not expecting to see Robert. Thanks, <laughs> Robert. What are you doing out here in this lovely mm -hmm. evening? Hunting uh, cryptids. Hunting cryptids. <clears throat> what? <sighs> what? I didn't know you had a dog. I... This is, isn't my dog. Mm. I found her wa wandering in the streets and I put a leash on her. And now we're walking around the graveyard together. Mm. Hunting cryptids. Oh. Damien, I share a look. May I give her a treat? Mm. Sure. Wouldn't give her, a give her cheese though. Oh. Not to worry. Damien reaches in the uh, depths of the cloak. Ah, procures a small dog treat. What else is he keeping in there? The dog, dog um, links up to the treats, crunches it away, t uh, ill wagging furiously. Damien continues to smooth down her fur. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I... My absolute pleasures. Damien shakes the dog's paw. <laughs> Lovely to meet you, my friend. May our paths cross again. Robert and his dog a dis uh, appear into the darkness again. Damien stares after them. I didn't know you liked dogs. Victorians love dogs, actually. Most Victorian women in high fashion would always ha be accompanied by a small dog, such as a terrier and a, or a mastiff. I, uh, think big dogs are nice, too. Yeah, and dogs are cool. I, I do believe that we had enough excitement for one night. May we say we make our way home? Damien hops to his feet and extends his hand to help me. I gladly take my knee up, and knees aren't the way they used to be. Uh... He packed up his picnic basket, and he leads us to the graveyard. We begin to walk home. I take one last look at the cemetery. It's really beautiful. Like a proper gentleman, Damien walks me to the doorstep. Thank you ever so kindly for your company tonight. Damien, it was my pleasure. Powder, if you allow me, it would bring me great joy to offer you a token of my affection. <sighs> Damien reaches behind his back and pulls out a folded monogram handkerchief and pressed it to his head my head. Wow, thank you, Damien.
I do not have a spawn for this. Oh fuck. Let's save. Uh Okay, that worked! Okay, he liked that in response. Okay, uh, a noble purpose. Damien stuffles his feet. I just want to say it, it's a rare to find someone like you. Someone who's open with my eccentrics. It's nice to feel so accepted. Uh, thank you. Damien gives me a hi my hand a quick squeeze. Damien blushes and hastily retracts his hand. Um, I must take my leave. Good night. Before I could say anything else, he's gone. Uh, I unlock the door and step inside. Oh, my throat's hurting. And like a whirlwind, Manda runs into the window and plops down to the couch, trying to look at a non a non -ch all slick. Hey, Dad, what's up? You, were you watching from the window? No, I was just, uh, okay, yes, how was the movie? Lots of vampire titties. Told you. Uh, what, as it turns out, Damien is ska- eh? Wait, Amanda doesn't seem to know know that. I keep, keep that between me and Damien. Scary, scary cool. Yep, he's pr he's so cool and scary. Nice save, Fowler. Did you, uh, know that graveyards used to be a place for to throw parties? I think I, I misread that. Mm -hmm. Misremembered that. Wow, that, that's pretty punk. Also, we saw a dog. Definitely thought it was a werewolf for a minute, though. <laughs> We, how can and you be so sure it wasn't a werewolf? H how can you be so sure it's not a werewolf? And how can you be so sure you're not a werewolf? <laughs> and his eyes narrow. I don't trust you. Nor nor are you. We ma we make an intense wary eye contact for a second. Anyway, I'm calling it a night. Don't stay up too late, will ya? I'll try not to howl on the moon past midnight. Okay, that was a bit weird. Ugh. <laughs> So Damien's scared of of mo horror movies. Let's see what level I get. Oh, I got an S rank. Oh, dear friend, you've simply taken the egg on this one. It's a it's a Victorian phrase. I'll, I'll this is the I'll longest go. outro winning ever. Okay. Okay, we got an achievement for the second date of uh, interview with a vampire. I like how that's in there. Okay, who should we date next? Hmm. It's a beautiful night and the air smells so fresh. I'm so decided. I decided to take a long way home. Casually stroll the neighborhood, taking my sights or sounds of suburban cities and low crime rate and what, rain and wide walkable sidewalks at night. So I approach a bar and I he hear pat patrons inside cheering. Oh, I bet it's a game. So on. I wonder if it's my team. So it's playing tonight. I drop the water or it hits my head and now it's a lot of drops of water. It's pouring rain. Now I should wait inside. Okay, we're in a bar now. I order a beer and settle in. It turns out my team isn't playing tonight. I can certainly enjoy the game regardless. The, bi the bar is usually crowded and the feeling of I'm 80 over the shared love for the game makes me smile. Well, uh, sports are nice. I look over at the corner and spot none other than Mary sitting alone in the corner nursing a cocktail. Something of her seems different this time. Now she's by herself, not hanging Hanging off some younger guy, she looks so sad. She looks up half heartedly, raises her glass at me, and st and before st hearing to the middle distance, say hi. I decide to say hello. I walk over to the booth. She doesn't look up. The seat taken? She still doesn't look up. I take take the seat away, and she finally notices me. Hey, cowboy. You all right? Never better. She hiccups, guess that she's a little far gone. Ah. Tears start welling up in her eyes. Oh. I... I will... Will you walk a gal home? Uh... Let's be nice. I want to walk her home. I slide out of the booth. It seems like Mary's having some trouble getting up. I reach out in her hand, uh, hand to help her, but she waves me away. Ah. I got it. I got it. She clearly does not I got it. You know what? Hang it out here for a second. I walk over to the bartender and pay Mar Ar Ar Mary's tab. Hey, I don't know oh, if you remember me, but I I live with Mary in Mar Mary's coup de sock, and I, I'm just making sure she gets home safe tonight. I know Neil. I know you. Yeah, it's nothing. 
weird. Just, she usually ha has one of those bar staff walk her home, but I trust you. She doesn't like go home with, I don't really want to say, one of the guys she meets. Nah. Nah? Ain't her thing. Huh. I need to get back to the booth. Mary stumbles over the seats and directly into, the, into my arms. It, it's still raining a little bit, and I take off my coat and hold her into Mary's head. S such a gentleman. Let's get you home. Mary and I walk in silence in the street towards the cool sack. Uh, I have no idea what to say to her. I fear she might hit on me or not. What did, did the bartender mean by ain't her thing? Uh. Sorry you have to see me like this. I'm usually not... I know Joseph doesn't like it when I... I'm just sorry. It's all right. Hey. I'm sorry if I ever, if I'm ever mean to you. It's all right. Hmm. No, it's not. I know it's not. I'm just, I'm having a really, ah. forget it. As we get to the cool de sac, I f can feel Mary starting to slow down. And by the time we arrive at the doorstep, she pulls away from me. Wait, can we just, hold on. What's wrong? Huh? Hey. How about another drink for old time's sake? Come on, Mary, it's bedtime. Mary looks up and down, gives me a half smile. Mm. You're right. She pulls me in a close hug and holds me onto her a little longer and feels appropriate. She mumbles into her chest. Mm. You're a good kid. Thanks for the company. Mm. Mary gives me a pat on the back, straightens out her sweater, and walks the rest of the way to the front door cell. Huh. Don't trust a gas station's egg sandwich. What the fuck? Um. Welcome. Actually, I think I should cut off my, uh, my videos a bit short today. Uh, because I th feel that they're... If I extend this a little longer and make things better. I don't know where Mary was getting off on that. So, um, but why was Mary involved in all the dates in this? So, anyway. Anyway, guys. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next video. I sure enjoyed enjoy the date with Damien. I think I should do, I'll probably do two dates next time. But I probably won't do it today. Anyway, guys. I'll catch you guys later. And stay nerdy, my friends. Bye-bye.